Inspiration, education, action. This is the Seeds to Success Show with Ben Godinez on Money 105.5. Welcome back to the Seeds to Success Show. I am your host and Insurance 101 guy, Ben Godinez with Gateway Insurance Group, brought to you in part by GVTH Productions. Um, follow us here. We're on Facebook Live on the Seeds to Success Facebook page um, so you can watch the behind the scenes. And right now, we're going to do a little taste test here just to get a little spunk back in us. Um, so, of course, you guys all know that we have the Seeds to Success blend at Riscate Coffee in Elk Grove. And so I had uh, Jeff, we made him a little latte here, and I want to expose you to the Riscate Coffee. So well, thank you, Ben. We're going to do a quick one-minute little taste test. Have it a is, sip It there. is time for my afternoon latte. Right. Yeah, a little pick-me-up. Okay. So cheers to that. Um, I'm drinking the Riscate Coffee blend myself, which is just a medium roast and a dark roast combined. So, Jeff, what do you think about the little latte there? Oh, I like it. It's very good. Just uh, it's uh, it's it's cooled down since you brought it from Elk Grove. <laughs> yeah, probably a little bit. <laughs> My bad. Should have made it iced uh, a yeah. latte, huh? Um, I was I was doing the notes here for today's show, and I'm I'm by the way I'm not a coffee connoisseur. I can't call myself a coffee connoisseur. I love coffee, and uh, black coffee matters. But uh, mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> but uh, I'm not a connoisseur. So I was just actually trying to taste my coffee and i started picking out notes of coffee and i was like this is a little roasty toasty marshmallow and a little bit of dark chocolate and maybe a little graham cracker hey that's a s'more hmm. <laughs> so when you go to a coffee house so what do you order i usually will have um what i call a dirty chai okay which is just chai chai latte with a uh, shot of espresso because i know i know you meet a lot of people at coffee houses and so i forth, do that's so. you know I, I i do frequent coffee houses right I love their black coffee. It's a great meeting place, but uh, I also do events and things at coffee shops. Okay. So that's why I love Riscate because they we can do events there. And anyway, nice. all right. So I love it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get back into Jeff Chapman here with Sack Chat and Visit Sack on. Uh, follow him on mm -hmm. Instagram at Visit Sack. So, nice. talk to us a little bit more about um, the importance of interacting with college students and really their kind of their economic impact on the community. Sure. Okay, well, um, th think about Sac State alone. Again, um, not talking about the other campuses, but but only, only the University of Sac State. Uh, imagine if we removed Sacramento State from Sacramento. Okay, so that'd be and, a huge void. Yes, it would. And so the void financially would be uh, basically $1 billion a year, almost $1 billion a year would be removed from our local economy. Wow. So. That's how massive that's incredible. it is. Yeah, it's that, in that's including their rent and their expenses. And yeah, I mean, it's including the, uh, the jobs, the faculty, but mostly, mostly, it's the impact of of the students and their spending power. So okay. one one billion dollars removed from from our 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 local economy. Sacramento economy. Oh yes. my god, um, that, that's a lot of parents' money. I think. <laughs> yes. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, Sacramento is growing, and Sacramento has, um, you know, obviously a huge millennial population. Mm -hmm. um, I would. I wanted to ask you, like, can you talk a little bit about how millennials interact these days, uh, namely through social media and just, you know, what? Yeah, it seems like it's constantly changing. But yeah. the, I mean, the best ways of reaching people, of course, is going to be, especially students, is going to be through social media. Right. I, I've, I, I've had the most success with social with social media platforms there's there's really no other way that's going to be better at reaching so many people right if you look on campus even i don't even know what's going on with the the pokemon craze oh my god pokemon, pokemon is what we never have to talk about that but it's so <laughs> relevant it is and it just shows like how, how i guess maybe how old i am because i don't know what they're doing and every <laughs> everyone is on their phone and it's just this huge craze, um, yeah. and it, I just think it speaks volumes to. Check this out. Know, I have yes. a little bit of insight about this right. Pokemon Go thing. Okay. okay? Um, other than people that you know have you know, follow it and they capture Pokemon and all that, do you know really why that app was created? Uh, it it's not not for financial gain, I assume. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, is, it's, it's not just for asking? it's not just for entertainment. Okay. Businesses. Okay. Pay for the information from those people that have the Pokemon Go app. Mm -hmm. So when you when you download Pokemon Go, businesses can can basically buy your information. So Pokemon Go is selling it to mm -hmm. different advertisers and they're tracking everything that you're doing, where you're going, um, how long you're there, 
what uh, stores you walk into. And on the other end, they can target that market and they can say, I want a lot of people at my business. So what do they do? They buy Pokemon. They buy the little, um, the rights to the little Pokemon and they, and they set a bomb or whatever, or a trap. (laughs) And that's literally, they, this is this is going on right now. Businesses are buying traps for these Pokemon and yeah. then they're attracting people to their business. Mm-hmm. And then they're being selective, of course, about where their target market is and mostly it's millennials and college students. Right. So it's a brilliant marketing campaign and that's what people want to do. They want to have their phone in their hand all day long. And so if you're a business and you're not doing social media and you're not doing video like GVTH Productions, if you don't have things that are, are, are going to be relevant to your target market, then yeah. you're losing out on potential billion dollars of business. Exactly. Yeah, it was it was interesting because I had a uh, millennial in my car and uh, <laughs> he was actually helping me uh, put together that hashtag visit SAC in, that we, we took a picture in front of um, Sacramento State, or we, uh, excuse me, in front of the state capitol. And he was nonstop on his phone. So I said, why are you on your phone? <laughs> and everyone at the Capitol was on their phone. They were sitting in a row, and I took a picture of it with my phone. But it was, uh, it, it was that's quite an incredible app. But to your point, I mean that that is that is where things are going, and it's uh, it's it's very incredible. It's constantly changing. Yes. So um, let's talk a little bit about Sacramento's growing community, because for <clears> business <throat> owners that are listening right now, um, and, and this can apply to any you know major city, but. Um, Sacramento is no longer a small town, although it may have a small town feel. There are sure. so many businesses opening up. There's something like two or three businesses opening up a day just in Sacramento City, not yes. even the county. Well, I was thinking about you know when when I was in high school, everyone talked about leaving Sacramento. Right. Yeah. So I don't know if that was the case with you, but for for me, I just remember that was always that was always the goal. You're going to graduate and you're going to leave Sacramento. Right. Uh, but now I think that many of the millennials and you know, high school and college students, they, they see a future here in Sacramento. And there's a momentum that's being yeah. built here in Sacramento, especially with the new arena. And yes. um, there's just there's a, there's a lot going on. And uh, it's younger people want to stay. That's so, right. People are, are not only going to school here at Sac State and right. graduating and staying, but people are coming to Sacramento after they graduate, Yes, um, which is so funny. Two second story. I found my kindergarten and preschool best friends on, on Facebook, through right. a, a class picture. We went to school in Castro Valley, okay. small little town in the Bay Area. And after we graduate college, five years after we graduate, I looked them up. They're two miles away from me. Each of them are yeah. two miles away from where I lived in Sacramento. They right. went to school, graduated, and then moved to Sac. You know, that's crazy to me. I never even thought Sacramento was even on the map when I was in high school. Right. But now it's a happening town. Yes. And now businesses are opening up yes. and, and they're thriving. And w- one of the guys that I work with for um, for SAC Chat, his name is Chris Hayward, and he moved out here from Florida, and he was only supposed to be here for a couple of weeks or so, and he's pretty much just parked himself here. So <laughs> I'll put out a shout out to Chris. There you go. Uh, yeah, it's incredible. So, so what else can you tell us about um, SAC Chat and you know, and why businesses advertise through there and why they're successful? Well, um, as, as far as like what I was saying, like for, for Visit SAC, um, yeah. the reason why uh, we decided to, to start Visit SAC is just because we wanted to have an, either, an even greater reach than than the college market. So um, basically this, this is uh, a, an Instagram account that will provide us with a, a much larger audience. It's not going to be just people in Sacramento, although – uh, many of our followers are people who live here in Sacramento, but it's uh, going to be people who are wanting to visit visit the area, and um, we're looking to, to to build that that community. So yeah, and you, you just launched it. You've got over three thousand or something followers, and there's more than four thousand, something crazy. You or, just launched or it. Or more than six thousand. Six thousand now? Yeah. yeah. See, I mean, I can't even. Keep and up. and and they're organic. Of course, yeah. you know, you can always. The thing is that sometimes people don't understand is you can always buy. Instagram followers, you can always buy Facebook followers, yeah. but but really that there's a, there's no benefit to that for for a business. So we 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 want uh, all of our followers to be real, organic, mm-hmm. um, and uh, people who can benefit from from uh, the information that that we put out. So, you know, the like the old saying that um, it's a nice place to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. You yeah, know? I've so, heard that a million times about yeah. Sacramento when I was a kid. Yeah, so I mean, it turns out like it's it. it it, it isn't quite true when it comes to, to tourism and visiting and visitors um, here in the Sacramento area. You know, you think about like it's not just people who are coming to Sacramento for for pleasure or to 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 visit some of the things that we have here. But it's also for for, for business. So that does make sense. Um, 
Uh, Sac Sacramento is a transportation and commercial hub, and uh, we have many conventions here, so we have people that are constantly coming in and out of this area and, and spending money and leaving their dollars. Um, and then also you think, you know, with over a million people in our region, um, they have family and friends who come to visit, and so we have this constant influx of, of uh, people who are, are visiting our area yeah. and spending money. And so at Visit Sac, or um, uh, our Instagram account, at Visit Sac, just gives uh, more information on uh, events that are happening in, in Sacramento and and highlights uh, things that are important to even some of our followers. So our followers, of course, will right. send us information and then we'll um, pass pass that information on to our uh, followers. And beautiful. Uh, again, the the whole point is to build a um, a, a community, a relevant community um, here in Sacramento. Okay, beautiful. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, go to Instagram right now and, and follow Visit Sac. Um, their, their pictures are of the highest quality. Um, I don't know if you have any videos on there, but I know that from what I saw, the, the pictures are extremely engaging and incredible. And then you have a little message in there, you know? Right, and, and those, you know, those pictures are, most of them, not, not all of them, but, but most of them are sent in uh, from our followers, so oh, wow. of course we uh, we give them photo credit and uh, and thanks for the for the uh, for the photo. But it's it's really cool how as the community that community begins to to build, that more and more people are sending in their their photos and information. And uh, then if it's if it's relevant or, or really good, we we do share it with uh, the visit sac community. Excellent, excellent. We'll talk about engaging as we as we wrap up this second segment here. Um, go to the seeds to success page if you're not already watching us on Facebook live um, we got a new seats of success group starting up here and that's how you can interact and engage with like-minded professionals um, that are either business owners or that want to grow and succeed so go to seeds to success page it's actually at seeds to success Sacramento on Facebook and follow us so that you can stay in touch with the next group session coming up here in the next month stay with us here on the seats of success show with Jeff Chapman from visit Sac.